Halloween. The day of ghoul is on us. This would definitely give you a fright waking up to this in the morning, wouldn't it? Oh, my lovelies. This means that this is the last autumnal Halloween video I am filming. This is going to be the last time you see the spooky onesies. But I'm not going to lie. The onesies are going to still be making an appearance. Because this morning, it is torrential rain and wind outside our area today. Great. Absolutely great. So kind of ruined my plans i wanted to go and have a little pop down to the butchers see what they've got see if they started their christmas hampers yet um we haven't seen anything online from them but it's torrential rain so i don't quite know if i'm gonna be bothered to have a walk down there yet i might do i need some exercise because it's gonna be a big dinner tonight big big dinner loads of snacky bits so <sighs> might walk to me butchers who knows and then i really want to have like a road trip i don't know why i just feel like halloween is upon us and that means tomorrow's christmas don't it so i might have a little car ride down to a retail park not too far away from us um lakeside and then because they've got a christmas magic shop now the Christmas Magic Shop is also open in Blue Water, but I cannot be bothered to drive to Kent on a Sunday. Let me just say that. And then I might have a look. I've got a list of like garden centres I want to go to, but there is one nearby Lakeside, the Thurrock Garden Centre. And I remember me and Mama Ju went there a couple of years ago. Saw some reindeers, so I might go there. See how that goes because I have got a few long weekends in November, so. We're probably going to be going to garden centres there. So I will probably, I might be a little bit sneaky. If, say for example, one day in Vlogmas I'm not doing anything, I might just chuck in a few clips of garden centres because it's still going to be Christmas in it. And if I visited all the Christmas centres before Christmas centres, if I visited all the garden centres before Vlogmas, what's a girl to do, eh? But yeah, who knows? So I want to go... Do I be bothered to go to the butchers? Ah! I don't know. I don't actually know. But today is going to consist of road trip, shopping for Christmas decorations, food, food, and food. Loads and loads of food. I mean, what would you expect? Halloween with me and Mama G, food for food. We need energy because tomorrow, Monday the 1st of November, as I say, we are... D, I was to say decluttering, it's not, it's de-decorating from autumn and Halloween, ready for the Christmas bits, because I've got two days off work, so let's see how that goes, shall we, but yes, as I say, get comfy, my lovelies, you know it's going to be a long one, I hope you all had a lovely Halloween, let me know what you've done down below, did you go out, did you have a little fun trail, who remembers last year when me and Mama G went to somewhere in Pitsy, I can't remember the name of it, and we had like, we didn't realise until we got there that it was for kids. And Mama G still got scared. So yes, we we're going to have like a chill one this year. Because there weren't really much that we could find that was on. Apart from like Fort Park and Norton Towers and all that. But I'm not really into rides and all that. I'd much rather like a maze or I wanted to do Cursed. But we left it too late to get tickets. So that was great. But yes. Make sure you're comfy, make sure you're cosy, make sure you've got that nice hot drink. It's going to be a long one. And let's enjoy the last of the spooky festivities, shall we, before Christmas is coming. <laughs> first thing is first, you cannot start a morning without coffee. So, I said to Mama G, I'm being a bit lazy this morning. Just going to do an instant one. What are you having with it? Syrup or sugar? I'm going to run my with this cup. You want that cup? You are can't leave in the cupboard again, so if you hear any noise, it's the pasta around you. Right, we of course having crumpets, but we've got some M&S crumpets this time. 
So on the Halloween food we had Asda that was in the shape of ghosts. These are just like a normal crumpet shape, but they've got like a, they say vampire, I thought it was like more Frankenstein. Yeah. But one of you lovelies, Nicola, said to put on the crumpets melted cheese. So we are going to toast the crumpets, not as much, I only put it on like a number two. Oh no, no. Like, no, but it's going under the grill, isn't it? Oh. You don't want it too hard, so just do it like a number two. I'll do it three. Okay, do it three then. And then I'm going to pop the grill on, I'm going to slice some cheese. Once they're done, put the butter, put the cheese, and then put it under the grill, and we shall see what your recommendations like. You're upside down. <laughs> can't even see us how good did they look i am gonna cut mine because i think burning hot cheese i don't really want to scold myself with but mama g is going to pick hers up actually i don't even know oh yeah i can cut through it so i say this was a recommendation from nicola ah, ah. nicola nicole i'm so sorry if, i think i forgot your name nicola or nicole it's definitely one of them if it is you Tell me down below that I'm silly and I've got your name, but. Oh my God. Look viewers, I've got my, uh, <coughs> the ghost melting. She's got the mallow ghost topper from Home Bargains. How have I never tried this before? I love cheese. But I said we could have it with sweet cheese because I like that, don't I? But this is proper cheese. Is it low fat? Or just mm. mature. Mature. Good. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of trees, no, it, no, it's got a funny taste, like a, uh, been, not burnt, but a nice little crispy. That's because it's gone under the grill. Yeah, yeah. You get caramelised. That's it, yeah. I said to Mum, I want to start using the grill a bit more. And because we're coming into the colder months, if we're doing like soups, stews, casseroles, if we get some crusty baguettes, I used to like doing like my own cheese on the baguette or like a garlicky cheese bread so we start using the grill more for that because you get a nice get the flavor with it. And, and put that garlic clove on mm. yeah oh my god i love this well done nicola or nicole i was just saying i'm gonna check off you're so rude we're still in autumn then shannon well it's november autumn well no what were today 31st of... 1st of March. So. Nicola. Nicola. Oh. Thank you, Nicola. <laughs> Good little recommendation there. So, I would say from the 1st of November you're in winter, but it's not. It's November they still class as autumn. Yeah, yeah. And it's December, January, so February. Is, is that why today we've had to rent your rain They're and Horrible. Pouring yeah. down. So I had all intentions of getting out and going to the butchers, but I just... I'm not going out in that. So, we're going to happily tuck into these, and I think from now on, I might be getting up at 6am in the morning and having cheese on crumpets for my breakfast. <laughs> I actually really like this. And you know what I feel like as well? We'll have that on a, on a weekend, maybe, eh? Right, but do it in the grill. Some sliced onion underneath it. Mm. Cheese and onion. Mm. Or you mm. could even have cheese on both with onion, put it on top. And have like a crumpet sandwich, which would be like mega. a crumpet toasty. Yeah, <gasps> we could start our own business. Cheese and bacon. Oh. No. If you saw the log cabin vlog, I done a cheese bacon and sausage toasty. Mm. Brandon didn't have it because he said it was like a heart attack on a plate. But I demolished it. <laughs> well, he's, he's obviously looks after his weight, doesn't he? I don't. I will do it in the new year, but not yet. So, 
we're going to carry on eating these. And even though it's Halloween, we're still going to watch The Office. So we shall crack on with this. And then I'll see you in a bit when we decide what we're doing. Well, them crumpets were delicious. Polished off, all clean plates. I was gonna say bowls then, they're not bowls. Clean plates. And now I think crumpets may be a regular occurrence mm. with cheese on. Yeah. Maybe some thicker slices of cheese. No. Well, for me anyway, yeah, because yeah, when it melts like under the grill, it sinks in. So I like a nice thick bit of cheese. And maybe I would do What's like nice? some sliced onion, could try doing it with some bacon on it and make a bacon and cheese crumpet toasty. Yes, yeah, Mama G's idea. So yes, the weather is still horrendous, so I don't think we're gonna go out to the butchers. Might have a little road trip, as I was saying this morning, to possibly retail part and a garden center, who knows? But I know for now, I need a bath. It's not gonna be one of me fan dabby dozy baths, it's just a morning bath to wake us up. So you'll see a little time lapse of that, and then Let's see where we end up, eh? But yes, happy Halloween and let's get in with the day. Now we're fed. <laughs> we are back so we had a little bit of a road trip today we went about 40 minutes out and went to a little garden center called Thorpe garden center me and mama g went there a couple of years ago and we saw reindeers and it was my first time seeing reindeer so i always love to go there obviously couldn't go last year because everything was locked down so that was top of my list i did want to go to Summerhill and altons but there was something on the a13 or a12 and it said that there was like diversions of that. And I thought, you know what? I couldn't be bothered because I didn't take Bug today. I took Brandon's car because he's got the bigger boot space. And I knew we was going and doing maybe a little bit of shopping. So I wanted to like make use of it. So I thought, I won't take the Mickey too much and take the car for too long. So we went to Thurrock Garden Centre and quite a bit of damage was done, my lovelies. Quite a bit of damage was done. And then we popped to a retail park nearby there, which is called Lakeside. We went into there, we went to a shop called Christmas Magic, 
which they've also got one open in blue water i believe and we went in there and i couldn't feel much in there because there's quite a lot of people around so i was a bit like mm. but i will insert a photo here or here of our little basket that may have been a little but still as i say done quite a bit of damage and then i popped into primark did quite a bit of damage i'm not gonna lie so quite a bit of stuff coming up for some hauls and then I also had a little detour to HomeSense and TK Maxx because I haven't yet been there fully. I had a little pop in a couple of weeks ago and they were still like in their Halloween vibes so I thought you know what we're on Halloween now, Christmas should be coming and I was not disappointed. So stay tuned for the HomeSense and TK Maxx hauls to come so yes I'm very shocked how and then I got back and Mum G was like you know what you can do? I was like what? She said, you can put all your clothes away. Great. So currently, I need to really sort my chisel out because my room is a tip. So let's start exhibit A, shall we? The dressing table. I let it get a mess again. And then exhibit B. All the clothes and like, not even clothes, shoe boxes. And then Mama G has so kindly laid out all the clothes for me to put away. So, yes, that is the plan of action. Yay, I really don't want to be putting this all away now. But I need to, and I've got loads of coats in the hallway that I need to put away that I've kind of just been putting on for work and then chucking in the back. And yeah, so I need to have a really big tidy up. But you know what? I can't be bothered yet. I really, really cannot be bothered yet. I'm just thinking about food. To be perfectly honest, I'm thinking about food because I'm getting quite hungry. But I'm not going to, I don't want to snack yet because obviously we've got a lot of stuff for dinner, which I still haven't shown you. So I will show you that in a moment. But for now, I think I'm going to, let's put some PJs on and be comfy because I think when I'm putting this away, I'm going to have like another declutter. And if there's any bits that I think, nah, not going to wear that, they can skedaddle out of the wardrobe. So yes, let's put some PJs on and let's try and tackle this. But let's first, let me show you the food, eh? a little overview there because Mama G did manage to get down to M&S and get some 3 for 10. Well actually we've got 6 for 20 because 3 for 10 that's not going to fix up are we? We were still very limited Mum said in our one so I have seen everywhere you know the cheesy fans I was going on about the bubbling cauldron cheese they didn't have any of them so we're lucky to get what we've got but you will notice there's a few little bits that I've chucked in there so the main thing I don't I think this is a gherkin in the middle, which Mama G can have because I don't like gherkins. We got on the three for twelve. Three for ten. We got the eerie eyeball pizza. So it's simply just a mozzarella and cheddar cheese pizza with red peppers, a gherkin, and a black olive slice. So the black olive I will have. Mama G can have the gherkin. And then to go with that, she got some wriggling worms. And these are menacingly mini pork sausages smothered in a sweet and sticky glaze. So I think they're literally just like mini chipolatas. And then you put a glaze on them and get them all, all out sticky and sweet, you know. And then these, she said, I actually don't know why I got them, but they was just on three for ten. They're called Monster Munchies. And they're just devilishly delicious bite-sized chicken breasts coated in a little golden crumb so basically like chicken nuggets less than perfect but she got that nonetheless and then again she just wants to chicken me out she got box o bats so you will remember from the iceland 
food warehouse little bit from before when we had 24 hours eating Halloween food. We actually had some chicken ghosts. I'm gonna get these out as well because, I mean, free lots of chicken, why not, eh? If you've got a bag, you might as well have a chicken then you might as well have some chicken nuggets, eh? And then to go as a little side almost, we had these last year, and oh my God, absolutely love them. Gauliflower popcorn, or gauliflower popcorn, whatever you want to say for it. It's basically a phrase between a ghoul, which is like a ghost, and cauliflower. So gauliflower or gauliflower, I'm not entirely sure, but it's battered crispy cauliflower with a sweet and sticky barbecue sauce. Now let me tell you, this barbecue sauce, oh my God, phenomenal. And then we're probably gonna have some chips with it because otherwise it's gonna be a lot of like chicken and pizza and popcorn, cauliflower. We need some chips, so we're probably gonna put some french fries in there with them. And then for dessert, we've got a little bit of a choice. So we have got 12 Wiggly Worm churros with a chocolate mud dip. These again were in the three for 10, and it says dangerously delicious churros with a cinnamon sugar sprinkle. And then you've got a pot of chocolate mud. So we've got some warm dessert there. Oh my God, I love churros. When I used to go to La Tasca, me and mum used to go quite a lot for the little like tapas nights. Oh my God, the fresh churros were just divine. And then also we've got a cold dessert because you know what, might as well go out and then we're probably gonna have cakes after. I mean, it's just been a whole day, ain't it my lovelies? We've got the scarily sweet spider's web strawberry cheesecake. Now this was from Iceland, two quid. Two quid, so I didn't think it was too bad, I'm just reading, it says, please keep flat. So, and there's me putting it up and down like a jigsaw. So yes, we've got quite a selection. As I say, I'm gonna bring out the spooky ghosts tonight because hey ho, might as well. And then maybe do a selection of dips, get some chips out. And we're literally just gonna have like party food tonight. That's all it's gonna be. We was thinking of doing maybe like a pumpkin soup, but I think I'll probably do that tomorrow because tomorrow is the 1st of November. And I have two days off work, and guess what I'm doing? Starting to decorate the house for Christmas. So yeah, it's a busy, busy two days. So I think tomorrow I will do the pumpkin soup because we've got pumpkin, there's still carrots and potatoes and onions and mushrooms and red peppers and tomatoes, everything from when we went farm shop a couple of weeks ago. The vegetables from a farm shop last so much longer than they do from supermarket. Is that just me or? I think they last longer anyway, so they're still completely bright. So I think tomorrow, because then that can just be on the hob. Oh, little face appearing out of the window. Um, that can be on the hob, just simmering it while we're getting all the Halloween bits down and starting to do the Christmas. And then there'll be nothing better than when you start to do the Christmas bits. And then like, because we're not going to be able to do the house in one day. I've took two days off work, but I think it could probably take like two or three days. So it might have to take like another day of the weekend just to sit down with a nice bowl of soup nice crusty bread oh, yes please thank you madam so yes i think i'm going to jump in the bath now put on some pjs and oh, i've just remembered i've got the clothes there oh, i really don't want to right i'm going to have a bath put some pjs on and then tackle the clothes later you're probably thinking shan that's just like so backward but i mean on a weekend i average about two or three baths i have a bath as soon as i wake up you would have already seen that just me plain jane bath i'm going to jump in the bath now which will just be a plain jane one and then tonight will be my one with all the fizzies and the bombs and all the little shower gels and spookily good bits so yeah i won't film the bath that i'm having now because that would just be the same as the one you saw this morning just a little bit of vanilla pumpkin in there give it a zhuzh maybe a little bath bomb I don't know, no, because then it's going to make me sleepy. I just want mine to freshen up. I was melting going around them garden centres because I had this, my big hands tooth coat on because it was freezing this morning. We was up and out at half eight. Trust me, to get to like that little retail park and then the garden centre early to drive back, we wanted to be up and out early. And thank goodness we did because something was happening on the M25 when we was coming back, going into the area. So that was hunky-dory and yeah i need to wake myself up so i'm gonna have just a nice cool bath just a little bit of bubble bath i think and then when i come out put me onesie on probably and start to tackle that washing and while i'm there i'll go through the clothes and see if i need another clear out again if i see anything and i think no i don't like that not gonna fit 
that can go and then I'll go do another charity run. But yes, I am very excited. Now I've got to put all this food back in the fridge and freezer. <sighs> I'm so hungry. No, I'm gonna hold out for dindins. The crumpets were very, very nice. Like I was up at seven o'clock this morning, as you would have seen, I looked very, very tired. And at least I've had the crumpets. That got me by, but eating crumpets at half seven now is not the one, because I am starving. It's like four o'clock now. And you go with hungry, but we'll have dindins about half six, seven ish. So, yes, Shan, stop rabbiting. Let's go and have a bath, let's freshen up, and let's tackle that washing, eh? You interrupt me, and I interrupt you. A shame. When did we start losing and stop giving? I remember I gave it time, 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 all of my time, time, time. Now my mind, mind's lost in its thoughts. I want you, 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 want only you, you, you. But my heart's all tied up in knots. Wanna release it, wanna release it. Well, I am plum tuckered. Let me tell you that. <laughs> it is very, very late now. It is, oh my God, it's 10 past seven. <laughs> We're not even started dinner yet. Mum has just popped out because she said she wanted a little bottle of wine. I don't know why, because I thought we might have some gin and tonics, but hey ho, probably actually, no, we ain't got no tonic. That's probably why. So yes, um, tidying the room took me a little bit longer than I thought. And I had this whole thing that I'm going to go through everything again, declutter. Didn't quite work out like that. There was a few things I managed to take off from the hanging bits that I saw and thought like either it, I knew it was a little snug and I was thinking like last time when I done my declutter, I'll try that again. And then I've just looked at it again and thought no, or it's stuff that I've had forever and a day from like my first holiday when I was 18 years old. I'm 26 now, so eight years kind of needs to go so yes it is all done and you would have had a little sneak peek there when the wardrobes were open at the bag collection the handbag collection is coming my lovelies you're probably all moaning at me like the candle collection they are all coming but it is just i need to figure out how to film them because obviously candles there is a lot of them um handbags yeah there's a lot of them too it's just trying to find a way to display it and show them to you and not look like a pig's ear to be perfectly honest so i am still figuring that out but you would have had a little sneak peek with all the colors the shapes the styles everything like that but yes so now i need to do a little bit of editing just while mum pops up the shop and then when she comes back hopefully i think i'll actually put the oven on now let the oven heat up to like half seven and then we can get the food in and once the food is in, it is starting to cook. And then we can sort out movies. And yes, I want to get my lashes off soon as well. They're starting to um, irritate me, let's just say. And I would say that we're going to have an early night tonight. But probably not. Because we're going to be watching some horror movies. And it's just always the way, innit? I think we'll have an early night. Crack on with the Christmas decks in the morning. It doesn't work like that. So... God knows what time we're going to end up going to bed. God knows what film we're going to watch. Because I say, I really want to watch all the old Halloweens back to back. 
there's five of them so maybe not all today perhaps but from tomorrow i want to be full blown christmas movies so i don't quite know what we're going to watch can't have it too scary because mum and g don't do scary does she so yes but the room as i say we've got a nice little dressing table over there nana g's cardigan just chilling i didn't want to um hang it back up oh this, this thing is very flimsy. I don't know what's up with my tripod. Um, I didn't want Nana G's cardigan back in the cupboard. I thought, you know what? I keep it on the bed. Keep it here with me. But yes, Shan, let's go and put the oven on. Let it heat up. And let's get some food cooking, shall we? a little overview there we didn't cook quite enough everything because to be honest there weren't any space in the oven so we haven't got any chips and we haven't got like the little chicken nuggets but we do have the main things the pizza has lost its eye of fire because as we all know i don't like gherkins so mama g had that and then she cut it into the four and then this is the main platter we've got the bats let's bring you down so you can see you would have seen in the pan over anyway but we've got the scary ghost, we've got the bats, we've got the wiggly worms, and then the cauliflower popcorn chicken, which we had the cauliflower popcorn chicken, popcorn chicken, popcorn cauliflower last year. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Mm -mm -mm. So, we also have our Halloween glasses. These were from TK Maxx or HomeSense. Mum's got hers. What you got in yours? Chardonnay. And I've got a can of, what is it called? St. Helia, the passion and mango fruit with some of the Copperberg strawberry and lime gin. So, chin chin, happy Halloween. Hope everyone has a happy Halloween, as Mama G says. We have chosen the original Halloween because I've seen the remake of Halloween, but I've never seen the original. So I thought, careful, don't squash the cushions. <clears throat> Normally I have the cushions off before she gets on because I don't like them sat on, you know oh that can go down there so we're gonna have the original halloween and then see how we go because there's five of them so we might have a movie marathon tonight mm. for 10 hours you can sit here <laughs> what's time now <laughs> the time now half past eight six a.m <laughs> and then decorate for christmas in the morning so yeah might be able to get a couple out of the way and then we have cheesecake so we need to watch a few films because cheesecake won't be till later obviously but what are you, are you going to do your own plate or you want me to serve you oh, don't be pleased. you can serve you right so you want a bit of pizza yes please let's say i don't like gherkins we all know that can have that you want some popcorn cauliflower a couple bits please to dry would be worms please thank you ghost yes and a bat yes please thank you I say it weren't till we actually done like the oven and then we, <laughs> we haven't got enough trays for it so that was great you can tuck away into it then mother and see what you think let me get my little bit i love the popcorn cauliflower i love this cauliflower 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 i don't know how you call it cauliflower yeah but it's called cauliflower or cauliflower oh ghoulie flower i don't know for halloween it's yeah ghoulie Mm. I wish I was serious, I love my cauliflower. Mm. And these are the wiggly worms, they're like they're weird sausages. They're mini triple ultras, aren't they? Mmm. I like the glaze. Mm, nice. It's like sweet, smoky glaze. As I say, I don't think you can have Halloween without MS food. Or Asda. Asda, we managed to get the crumpets in the last one. But 
Let me know, did your store do anything like a Halloween in as the I think last year they done a skull shaped pizza. But our store's down here this year. Ain't been all that good, I'm afraid. Have some of barbecue sauce. sauce. Want a bit of barbecue? Just please. So yeah, we're literally gonna stuff our face. Watch Halloween and then we'll check in with you. Probably a bit through the film or when we should finish watching it. And then we can have the cheesecake. Because there's always room for dessert. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine this being in the cinema back in the time of this type of music. Me and my friend went to see the exorcist school, there was people passing out and everything screaming. In a minute. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> He's held him onto the cupboard. <laughs> oh right through his belly. <laughs> oh you psycho. <laughs> oh my look here, look, he's going. Look. So you would have seen we are two movies down. We've watched one and we've watched two. I have just quickly jumped in the bath and then so has Mama G. That is why she is now in Christmas PJs ready for the festivities tomorrow. I wonder what we're going to wear to decorate the Christmas tree. Because this is what we wore last year, I think. We ain't got any new Christmas PJs from Primark yet. No, because we've not been there yet, have we? Might have to wear... I think in one year we wore the uh, candy floss pink ones. We'll have to have a look. So we ain't got any new pyjamas. Not yet, no. We'll have to see what we can do, or we might be able to decorate them if we feel, instead of being in PJs, in our Christmas dresses, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We We've might. Got two of them, haven't we? Yeah, we might dress it in a Christmas dress tomorrow as opposed to PJs because we haven't got any new Christmas PJs. But yeah. yet, we will have a look in Primark. I have just sliced 
the cheesecake getting ready for Halloween 3. And then it's got something in it. I don't know what's in the middle. Strawberries or cherries? I don't know. It looks very nice and it come out the uh, packet quite easily. I feel like strawberries. We're going to have the churros another day because you can get away with churros any time of the year. So I think we'll have them maybe in a couple of days time or maybe after we finish decorating the tree it could be a little uh, seasonal snack. Mm. Not bad for two quid, I So yes, we're going to tuck into this and watch number three. She didn't like the last one at all, did you? Nope. Well, she keeps coming back. <laughs> yeah. Every time it's dark and she sees his face in the back, she's like, he's there! I'm like, here's a spoiler. No, you've like, just frightened me. Why have I frightened you? Because I thought you was in the bedroom. <laughs> In your room when you come out of my room when I was doing the bath. I heard a car alarm going off. So I went to Mum's bedroom window just to check it weren't mine. And then I come out and she turned me and she was like, ah! I was like, what? She was like, I thought you was in the other room. I was like, well, who else do you expect to see walking around the house? It's just me. Ugh. Oh, bless you. Bless Ugh. you. So, yeah. So I said to her, she's lucky that I'm, like, we're watching this and not nothing paranormal. No, no. She's been telling me this evening not to, like, invite the spirits and all that. No, douche. <laughs> so let's go on with number three. <gasps> oh, bless you, of Michael Myers. But, yeah, ten out of ten, I assume. Very nice on the cheesecake bump. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit dark, I don't know if you can see us, but it is quite a lot later. We are going to call it off at number three. Number three was very weird, because it didn't have him in it. So we are a little bit perplexed as to that. Oh my god, look at your belly. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> oh, you've gone out of focus. Hello, Canon. There we go. Oh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to draw a line. Oh, is it because you're too dark? Right, I think we're just going to have to go with this. It keeps going in and out of focus. I think it's a little bit dark. So let's round it up. Um, That has been our Halloween. I am shattered. So I think what I'm going to do, even though I've got two days off work now, I'll be up normal time. So 6am. I might have a lay in until about 7ish tomorrow. Mm. I've got to edit this to get it up so that you can watch it on Monday. And then, yes, yeah, so a busy, busy morning. Oh, you're off already, third time lucky. Oh, I found! <laughs> oh, <don't pull> back. <laughs> so I think someone's heading out. You're not going to stay for the outro. You're saying goodbye now. Goodbye! <laughs> so, yes, we have had a very enjoyable Halloween. People are probably thinking you're shopping for Christmas decorations already. Yes, I mean, is there any better time to do it? And then we might, I know from November I like to watch Christmas films, but we might finish off four and five of Halloween because... Have you spilled something? No, I'm just wiping the match. Oh. We might watch four and five watch tomorrow. <laughs> um, we might watch four and five tomorrow, just so that like we can say we've rounded it out and we've finished it. Because tomorrow we will, as I say, when we're decorating, I'm going to do a big bowl of, well, a big pot of pumpkin soup. Because it's quick, easy, it can be on the hob. And yeah, I have been a little bit productive as well today. I didn't show you. Been, oh pardon me, a little sneaky. I've actually changed the kitchen around again. Mum! Oh my goodness, apologies if you heard that. Um, I actually did quickly change the kitchen around again. So you will see that when it's like Christmas vlog time and all of that jazz. So I'm going to bit a farewell because I need to get my head down now. Very, very late. And I've got early start tomorrow. And then a long two days ahead. So if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What did you do for Halloween? Was there anything you thought about mine and Mama G's day? What did you think of the garden trips? What did you think of the food we ate? And as I say, Nicola, thank you once again for the crumpet and cheese recommendation. Very, very delicious. But yeah, I'm going to hit the sack now. 
and let's get ready for um, some Christmas content to come. Take care, my lovelies, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.